Peter is in Gatwick. Peter, what did you laugh at when you really, really should have known better? Yeah, hello, James. Hello, mate. Uh, it goes back a few years now, um, and uh, you have to use a bit of imagination this one, but um, I got on a train at uh, Liverpool Street one evening, and, of yeah. course, the carriage fills up, as it always does, and people assume a certain position, and uh, usually the position is going to sleep. And there was one young guy who immediately got in the train, went to sleep in the corner, and the train poured off, as it always does. And there's two or three stops on this way down towards South End. Yeah. And this guy, the carriage slowly emptied out, and this guy uh, just carried on sleeping. And um, we got down towards where Wickford Station, and the train stopped at about, I don't know, two, three hundred yards from the edge of the station. And this poor guy woke up, looked around the carriage, stood up and just walked out the door. <laughs> and uh, the, the people in the carriage just got stunned. We sort of looked at each other, but nobody said anything. <laughs> and whilst we were deciding what to do, two hands appeared at the bottom of the door. And eventually this guy pulled himself up back into the carriage, a little bit dishevelled, <laughs> looked at everybody in the carriage and went, oh, he said, what a prat. <laughs> and he walked over and got out the opposite door. <laughs> And now we were completely stunned. Everybody said, well, did you see that? I said, well, of course you saw it. And then one poor guy got up and looked out the door. He said, no, it's okay. It's no damage. Oh, <laughs> and then the train pulled away so... and it got into the, eventually got into Wickford Station. And uh, yeah. we all sort of got out of the carriage and said, well, should we tell somebody? Yes. <laughs> I think we should. 